Gods will fall, PlayStation 5. Second time's the charm. Top-down action adventure, slasher, hacker, roguer. Crawler, deadlier, more cunning, more menacing. Venturing into the RPG depths of the beyond. Uh, I'm up. Last time on Gods Will Fall Z. The game crashed. Bugged out. 10.02. What was it? I don't know. 10.8255. And all was lost. Much like this game. Much like this game. Recording it was a roguelike. Permadeath. But I'm back once again to explore. Perilous, endless depths and a dolmen. To unlock additional content and secrets that I may not have known of before. So here's what we're going to do. Um, gods killed. Remaining warriors. Gods killed. Mm. I don't know. Maybe fuck that, and fuck that. We're gonna start it new. But I'm not watching the cutscene. Skip it. Hold the skip. Miracle. Holding. I'm holding. I'm holding the skip. Okay, so what do I remember about this game? Jump to hit enemies on the way down. Jump to hit enemies on the way down. Uh, use the analog stick to run. What have I learned since the last time that I played? Let's go get my free guy. Get my free guy from the depths and we'll run it in the dungeon. I got some time to kill. This is a good time. To, this is a good, uh, uh, all joking aside, it's a good time to kill game. Uh, because you can just run it. It's very simple to play. But then you can't skip this dialogue. I see a lot of girls. They're typically faster. Um... I also see not a lot of buffs. Normally they have the brooms. So what I've noticed is that sword and axe... Uh-oh, I gotta go rescue this guy. Alright, perilous steps, perilous steps, here we go. Perilous steps, I'll see what he has. Devin, sitting in the depths of the caves, gotta rescue him. Let me go over my bearings in a dolmen. Because I'm saying a lot of shit. Alright, jump. Swing, heavy, which is rarely worth anything. Um, R2 is an item. Uh, L1 is pick up, I think, and R is throw. Isn't there a run? Isn't there a run? Circle is run and dodge. L2 is get him buff. R2 is use this item. Always just use the items. All right, pretty good. Here we go. I'm going to die. There you go. See? Instinct. Mash. Now. He's got, he's got armor, he's got shield, because he can't damage his life yet. Let's lure these guys back to the spikes. And they can... I tried dodging, but not a big deal. Tried dodging forward again. Alright, I gotta get my bearings. Rolling, rolling. Use R2 to heal. Roll again. There you go. Press circle, but too slow, he was lost forever to the darkness. Down in the depths. So pretty much, I just run that to sacrifice these dudes, because I don't like them. I don't like them. Fuck these guys. Oh well. Oh well. Um, I guess that's it. We're done. That was a good game. So what did I learn? Um, view the map. There's a new place I want to go. I think I want to go to... Osseus? Or Bear Lock? I don't know. Let me come to the left. Can you move over there? No. I think it's down. All right. Fine, it's down by the sand. So one thing I notice. Girls are really fast and big guys are slow, but that's not a big deal. What else do I notice? Swords are very good. Brooms, which I thought were trash, are cool for clearing out enemies. Dodging, which I thought was trash, is good for parrying toward the enemy. And and then uh, uh, healing. So I'll show. So so old war axe. I'll show it to you now. Old war axe. Brittany. The bruiser. 
So axe characters are actually good when you're starting out a dungeon because they clear they clear the path. They're good at just uh, ripping through. Wow, this looks good. Holy shit, I've never seen this level before. Wow, wow, wee wow. Very cool, very sand, beautiful sand rock. And you can mash, R1's pick up. And then I think L is lock on. L is lock on and R, no. What's throw? Maybe throw is just R1 square. What the fuck is L1 then? Yeah, there you go. No big deal. Pick it up again. Use it again. I like this uh, tribalism. I'm a fan. And then L2 heals you. See, so I didn't know parrying enabled you to heal. Well, that's a game changer, literally. Standing with the bosses. Dodge toward the bosses. Pair their attacks. Heal your health. Fuck them up. I didn't know this. Jump, but barely. So then can she climb? Is this a ramp? I knew it. Gaming instinct. I like these deep tribal tones. Is that an enemy hiding? It's pretty much always worth it uh, to carry around rollables. And with these big bruisers, I don't really care about getting hit because look, you just heal it up. Full heal, not bad. Use the uh, bone meal snuff. She can't really climb though. Kill enemies to weaken the gods. Sounds good to me. All these white and red uh, overtones, undertones. Acquired a throwing knife. Hanging. And the thing is, a lot of these levels are set up differently, so you gotta kinda hunt around, explore for the boss. Usually a rope bridge is a good indication that he's across there. Yeah. And they jump and smash him. We're good. Very good. Exquisite. Can she get up? Yep. Unity. Unity engine. Jump and smash. I was I was forgetting that I remember. Tensely searching around looking for the boss. Maybe around here or back around that bridge. Nothing dead end. Semi dead end, seemingly dead end. Alright, where's that bridge? Or did I already venture around here before? Yeah, to the right and the left. Okay, let's go to the left. Across the bridge to the left. So it's good to keep the throwables around. Always get at least one hit on them. And you can fall to your death pretty easily. Damn, so where is he? And you can secrets break these bosses. <laughs> not really, but it's not a big deal. Oh, what the fuck? And that can happen sometimes. Instant death realm. Instant death realm. That's just the way it is, man. Roguelike. Whatever you think it. Is. Whatever you think it's like. I want to use this guy with the horn and the cape, the purple one. How many did you start with? Eight. Nola, old mace. Some of these weapons, I think the axe, was, which was my favorite at first, is actually the weakest. And then the spear, which I thought was weak, is the fastest and the most linear, but it hit stuns them like infinitely. So I think spear is actually top tier. Then the sword, then the axe. The broom is definitely, and axe and mace is basically the same thing. The, the broom, the old mace, the old axe, they're trash. And uh, you can run past enemies pretty much. So first steps first. The levels you play, it's like, figure out the route through this particular level to get to the boss. Now, why was there a ladder there? 
if I can't get to it? No, pick up the treasure. The cornucopia. So, last time, did I go to the right? Looping around. And I want to look for the left. So let me explore to the left here. Because I went up that ladder. You need to progress like it's a maze. How the fuck do you get over there if there's no ladder? And I can see ladders on the rungs above. So now I'm climbing up. It's worth killing them, I guess. To get hell. Sometimes it's worth running if you can get away. And other times it's just worth killing them. Don't fall! You fucking dumbass! Unity! Oh, shit! Unity! Tricky, tricky! I was going to choose him. Let's choose a, a spear. The spear is good. Sword is... I Axe is okay. Um, and the mace is underrated, but only for enemies. Bosses, it's trash. Take two, take three. This is running on PS5, by the way. And there's still frame pacing issues, dropping, tearing, lagging. So pretty good. Pretty good. Climb it. There you go. Now. Jump. It's like you can't always mash because you have to remember to jump, uh, jump dive him. So that's it, huh? He's just gonna die down here. All right, all right. That's it. Into that zone. All right. Climb the ladder. Run to the right. Well then, let's let me explore to the right here. Jump, jump, jump! Oh my god. I can climb up there. Get the gold. Uh, what does that say? R1 to read? Oh, wow. These hints are such trash. Lagging. You saw that, right? Is there any cam movement whatsoever? So, if I already ran across this bridge... So, then you just do bridge and then drop down? It's kind of like an old-school God of War. So I just want bridge to drop down. All right. But then where? And I fell down here, right? Fuck. So you gotta climb back up. Where do I fall? Where do I fall now? Ah, oh, climb the rocks. Light a candle. Have a seance. Okay. See. For once, we got a pair of uh, clever devs here. New territory. I like the shadows. Oh, yeah. Very scenic. Very cool. There are nice cutscenes, too. And a uh, uh, made-up fake real language. Uh, I don't want to climb that just yet, but I kind of do just want to climb that. Well, if I gotta go up one or another. The hedge maze of a, pl of a platform boss. Yeah. Don't run. Don't get overzealous with the running. Yeah. You can blast them off the edge. So that leads there. That leads here. Sometimes it can be worth exploring if there's treasure, but mostly it's just more enemies. But then you see the boss. The boss is losing health as you're killing enemies. This boss, some of these bosses, I don't know. Maybe there's a trick to them. Some become easy over time. Others stay tough. That I fought. What have I fought? Three, four? 
Beaten three, fought four, maybe. All right. Don't get overzealous with the running. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Jump and smash. Is he done? This is tight. Wow, he's fucking me up. Some of these enemies. And then you uh, regain your health. Whoa, don't don't run off the end. I always like to keep a, a projectile on hand. Look at how sick this is. So I think it's on all platforms. Steam Deck Wii U would be perfect for that shit. Alright, here we go. First time ever. Spider Monster. What do you think? Alright, she's gonna strike for us, waiting for me. Ow, got me. You wanna you wanna basically buff anytime you can. And I don't know where um roll. Whoa, okay, okay. Wow, you really wanna try and dodge toward them. I think I'm gonna fuck this one up. Wow. And always heal. And don't get overzealous mashing, because you really gotta commit to the animations. But that's pretty much the way it goes. It's not so hard. Watch me say that and then not, not get him. I wonder if I could strike him there. There you go. Pretty easy. He was an easy one. Maybe I just had a good weapon, though. Cool. Very cool. Use the broom to clear him out. And, uh, uh, the handle to finish him off. Exploration, jump downs, Dolman Bell. Uh, victory has arisen. Pretty good. Pretty good. Spell up. Maybe you can get a um, a boost of some equipment. Select the sign. These are all junk. A bronze mace. Um, an old mace. Yeah, sure. Um, and then just, well, and then, oh, old twin axes, in case you want to replace weapons of people, an old sword, that's good, old twin axes, twin axes, a lot of them have that. You can't just replace everybody's. Um, old war mace, all right, um, discard remaining, yeah. Like I said, I don't really like the old maces and shit. So then, um, open the map, where have I not been? I think um, a lot of the ones down by the bottom, Bartum, have I done that? Let me, let me go. Let me go see. Off to the right. I did the elephant. I did mm, whatever girl from the first vid. And uh, it's and it's got a nice uh, pastel. I think it's down here, right? Uh, yeah. Kind of has this wandering around finding stuff. kind of calm up on the surface, but uh, beneath the undermountain lurks the true nature of this uh, devastating land. Is this it? I don't think so. I think that's just a throughway. That's just a throughway. The temples seem to have uh, more magnificent entrances, which may wind up being your exit. Um, who have I not used yet? Twin axe. Sure, I'll use a twin axe. Let's do it up. I wonder if this is a legit language or not. I'll pretend that it is. I mean, maybe I don't have to pretend. Maybe it is. What do I know? 
So pairing, pairing wound up being a much bigger deal than I thought. Wow, look at this color scheme. This game's so cool. And sometimes you can find strategies where you can just mash, which is what I like in an action game. Fuck you, bud. S sneak up and spook me. It's simple, simple point and click action game, dude. Unity seems versatile, but not very optimized. But I mean, what do I know? I'm not a dev, I'm just a player. A professional, a professional play tester because I I pay to buy the games and then I play them and I, uh, I uh, insult them. I think I'm doing the Lord's work. Nice stuttering. Just getting angry because of the stuttering. Yeah, let's go ahead and read. The prison walls. Yeah, great. He dodged it. Got to break his armored shell. His corpus. Are you going to hit him or what, dude? I like those uh, g g glowing seashells. Man, Elden Ring is going to be cool. Damn. Don't you think it would have been more fun if it was whack? If it was a flop? It'll be good. Damn it. That's no fun. And I mean, it'll be better than good. It's not like... Yeah, it's the. It's not like. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's good. It's decent. You know what could you expect? It's a game. It functions. No, no. It's gonna be very good. It's actually gonna be awesome. And it's like that's no fun. I wanted it to be trash. I wanted it to be a huge fuck up. I wanted it to be awful. I didn't want it to just be good. Like Dark Souls Three is good, and um, I don't know. You know, Nio is good, and Legend of Zelda. No, like you remember all these games from 2017. Where it's like, oh yeah, all these games are really good. The, the Elden Ring is going to be great. That's no fun, though. I wanted it to be, you know, the way that people say, no! Resident Evil 8's good. I wanted it to be like that, where it's not really. They just have a, a Stockholm Syndrome. All right, Twin Axe is overzealous. Get yourself killed on the edge of the um, railing. The rafter. Not Kylie. Well, it seems like a, a realm for a fast. Use an old sword. Who are you calling old? It seems like an area for a fast weapon. I, those bro I mean, when you can fall off ledges, the broom's not going to handle it. You know, broom handle it. Carry toward an enemy. Ow. Buff that shit. Okay. Every time I gotta I gotta redo work, I lose my, my train of thought. I've gotta reconnect. Yeah, I think I think slowing down on the mashing is a good strat. But I mean, who wants to do it correctly? I want to do it funly, you know. And she'll still aim down there. It's pretty good. Yeah, Unity feels just a little bit slippery, but the graphics are are uh, pretty good. Blast! He might go off. See, gotta be careful. Gotta judge your your combat. They kind of gurgle and spit as you kill them. Because they're from the, um, the aquatic. Alright, let's do it up. A lot of this is programmed very well, like, like signaled and scripted to move. But what, I don't know what the frame pacing issue is. You gonna miss like that? Come on. He leaves his hand there, and then it falls overboard. It's like clay. If you jump, the raft is gonna move without you.
frame pacing again. And there's a heavy attack, but I never use it. It's not worth it. Because it takes so long to wind up, and then um, you get interrupted. You don't have, like, power armor or anything. All right, camera perspective switch. I uh, went right through him. Stop mashing and just down him. Um, where can I climb up? Where can I climb up? Up the ramp. The ramp's right here. The ramp is to the left, bud. And then to the right. Regular guy brush three foot over here. Ah, oh, fuck. Anything at all? Nothing? Shit. Alright. Some of them, they'll get, like, chain hits on you. It's over. I really gotta, uh... And then that becomes worth it to fight, and that's the risk-reward, like... Trying to get your health back. Yikes. Brutal. Oh my god. That was a good accidental parry. That's why it's worth dodging toward them. This wailing is disturbing me. I'm gonna sneak up on them. Hoping to get something. Well, what's over here? To the, uh, to the upward. I'm gonna dare to adventure beyond. I don't know if I have a throwable. Yeah, I always do. All right. Very nice. Strategy's working off, paying off so far. What do you want to read? Sword is... Yeah, I know. These hints are trash, dude. They're worthless. Don't fall off the edge now. Come on, man. All right, it might be big boss time. Boulder now! Wherever he be, it might be a big boss time. Squid. The Hydra. Let me see him. Looks kind of stupid. And as soon as I hit, all right, let's just stunlock him and get my health back. Yeah, let's just stunlock him and just, like, rip him apart with the sword. The sword is how I fucked up the first boss. After... Am I gonna drown? Oh, man. He's getting hit by his own uh, tentacle. I wonder if I could, um... Can I still hit him? I can get health. Come back. Am I going to drown? More enemies. Jump. Hit him through the, uh, the, the crowd. Alright, just fuck him up. Just fuck him up, dude. Easy peasy. That's his own tail. He just burnt up. See, these fast weapons are too good. That's why I don't like this Broomhilda shit. Everybody got spooked. Hidden in a secret temple in uncharted space. Loot plunder. That's it? Just a knife? Alright, so a golden spear. Um, who has the spear already? Bronze spear. 
Well, who doesn't have a spear? Old twin axes. That sword is worth it. Old twin axes. What about her? All right. What about a, a bronze mace? To those who have a mace already. Old war axe. Um, old war mace. Sure. Pretty good. Pretty good. The beautiful forever of gods will fall. Not a bad action. Top down. Uh, perfect for a handheld. Nintendo Switch and or Steam Deck with Windows 11. I'm up.